the loop, man of God, pass, pass the loop, man of God, pass the loop, man of God, man the Bible, it is true, pass the loop. God blesses us through people. Whenever there is a need, God touches the heart of people. God will use people to bless you, and then God will use you to bless people. I need your potential to maximize mine. You need my potential in order to maximize yours. All that we have been given, hear me, is to be shared. God does not give you whatever he gives you for you to get all I can and can all I get. He gives it to you so that you can be a help to others. A solitary or a um, to be alone, hear me, is not the same as being single. Let me say, let me back the bus up. I, I said solitary or being alone is not the same as being single. To be solitary, saints of God, is to be isolated. It, it's to be cut off from other people. This is why they use this in the prison system. They put the prisoners in what they call solitary confinement. And what they do is they remove them from any interaction with other people. So now communication is impossible because there is no one like yourself to share with. And this is what God said was not good. P parents, my parents can walk with me right through here. Those of you that have little children and you have been in the house with these babies ever since COVID hit and you can't go nowhere. Every now and then, you need to be around some adults so you can remember how to be one. I can't get no help in here. So, so, so relationships, saints of God, are important. So it's indifference in being solitary and in being single. To be single simply means that you are not married. Now, marriage is not a requirement for you to meet your potential. Y'all gonna let me teach this morning? Here it is. You don't necessarily need a husband or need a wife, but you do, however, need somebody that can share your potential. Isaac Newton put it this way. He says, he says if I have seen father, it's because I stand on the shoulders of giants. He says, I didn't get to where I am by myself. If I can see Father, it's because I stood on the shoulders of giants. And some of you listening to me this morning, you may be listening to me online. You've gotten to where you are. Some of you, your grandparents were the shoulders that allowed you to stand on them so that you could go farther than they went. Some of you, your father and your mother sacrificed to allow you to stand on their shoulders so you could go further. Some of you, it was a school teacher that saw purpose and goal in you, poured it out of you, allowed you to stand on their shoulders. You are where you are and you can see what you can see today because of the relationships that you had yesterday. And I don't know, some of you, your giants may be dead and gone, but can we take about 10 seconds and give God a hand clap of praise for the people whose shoulders on which we stood. I've come to tell somebody you cannot see your new blessing if your vision is still connected to the old one. Let me talk to this side over here. God says, I'm trying to do a new thing in you, but you're so stuck on what I did yesterday. You can't see the relationship that I'm trying to put you in today. Don't you know that you can be so wounded by a past relationship that you won't receive the new relationship? Don't you know some people are upset about what this person is trying to do and they didn't even do anything to you? It's something that you brought over from the last relationship. Somebody shout, let it go. You need to understand here that failure is never fatal, but success is never final. In other words, no matter how bad you've done, you can get up. And no matter how good you've done, you can do more. You, I, I don't care how good you've done, you don't get to retire on your terms. <laughs> Because the limit of your potential is your God. I come, oh, that's somebody's word right there. I need you to catch this. So your mission, your mission in your relationship is not just to win. See, people don't like to get with people that they can win with. I don't get with this relationship because we can be a power couple. Me and you, we can be a power couple together. 
We can win together. And then when you stop winning, you want to leave. You, 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 you want to get on teams that are already going to the championship. They're already going and you want to join them because you want to win. You want to get with a team that's already on their way up because you want to win. You want to go to a church that got 73,000 members because they winning. I don't want to go to a church that got five members. I want to go to a church that's winning. Because you want to get to somewhere where somebody is winning. But your mission is not just to win. It's to learn, it's to grow, and it's to occupy. Footnote. Never allow success or failure to mean more than the relationship or the objective. <laughs> don't, don't, don't allow success. Don't blow up so big that now you can't speak to people no more. Don't get so blessed that now you can't even, you can't even speak to the folk. Don't you know it's some folk that their grandmothers and grandfathers sacrifice all of this for them to go to college. They go to college and get an education and then come back. Yeah, I said education. Yeah, they, 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 they go to college and get all of these degrees and then they're too high class to stay at mama house. They're too high class to go see aunties. Why? Because they break their verbs and they don't know how to use their nouns and so we can't be around them any longer. After all the sweat equity they put to get you to where you are, now you've gotten so such a much that you can't go and say the devil is a liar don't get so high that you forget your relationship and there's some people that don't want to be a part of ministries it's some people who don't want to start businesses because they don't like the person that they had issues with in the past and you cannot shout and jump in love but live a life full of hate <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying as soon as you find out so-and-so is on the ministry, oh, I don't want to be on that ministry. Just look at your Bible. As soon as you find out so-and-so is, is coming to the family reunion, oh, I'm not going to the family reunion. Just look at your Bible. Oh, but you lifting up holy hands. I come here. I love you too much to lie to you. You got to let that go. You got to, let, there's rules to this thing. Love. That's why we talked about agape love first. Because you can't have a good relationship without love. Love and trust together are the foundation of a solid, sustainable relationship. Now you can put your foot right here and I can lift you up because I have love and trust in this relationship. Now the problem is this, love is free, <laughs> but trust costs you something.